Okay, since we're on the Nexus, we might as well, you know, do Nexus things. You're back safe, you... No, no, Kerry, professional. First things first. Tan sent a little gift for your positive message. I'd make the most of it. Today's a tough one, the Exiles. Probably the most live-wire topic for our leaders. You've met the treacherous mutineers at Kadara Port. Some think the Exiles are a menace to be eradicated. The Exiles have as many problems as the Initiative. Not every outlaw wants us dead. Wow, it's almost heresy to hear that the Exiles are anything but filthy... Well, Exiles. I wish I could draw this out, but I have a meeting. Sorry. Apparently some colonists want to talk about the series. Maybe they'll be willing to go on camera. Just finishing up here. Thanks again. Maybe I should have stayed home. Dan just came through here on a tear. Have you ever seen a Solarian power walking? Hilarious. Mm-hmm. What's this one? I stopped an unauthorized shipment to Kadara. Important stuff. Rations, tools, power cells, you name it. Corresponds with inventory discrepancies. Someone stealing and storing supplies around Nexus and Hyperion for delivery to the Exiles. If you could keep an eye out for suspicious or out-of-place packages, I'd appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. Great. Stolen supplies haven't been processed for release, so Sam should be able to detect them. Investigating embezzlement. I'm sure we can do that while we're perusing the Nexus. Ventral Turian. Hail the man of the hour. What did I do? Word is you killed that traitor, Sloane Kelly. Just wanted to say thanks. I'm not the one who killed her. Not how I heard it. Just accept the pat on the back, all right? She got what she deserved. Okay. These are stolen supplies. I'll alert the dock manager. Okay, nothing new here. Sure glad I went to school for this. I already went to the cultural exchange. There was nothing there. I should sell some stuff too. Ooh. I like that. Yeah, that's your free of some room.
to the cryo bay. Fireworks in Tefessa as outpost colonists out engineer an Angaran outlaw and destroy his ship in a daring rescue. This is HNS. Have you been to any of the planets yet? Another cache of stoner supplies, alerting the dock manager. Good. Damned exiles. A bar opens on the Nexus. Visitors herald the vortex as a sign of civility, and the opposite of civility, as more sleepers wake in need of a drink. This is HNS. Another cache of stolen supplies, alerting the dock manager. Is that all of them? Yeah, I think we're good. Go do contagion. Hopefully this isn't too bad. Actually, I'll hold off on that. We'll do go do some Sam's memories and audio logs. I think I unlocked another one. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is when Alec first learned the initiative. It will be just a moment. Hello. I'm too old for Cloak and Dagger. I got your message. I'm here. Who are you? A benefactor, if you like. You have something to offer me? A future. That's vague. A future for your wife. You're out of money. Your contacts have dried up. You can't finish there. How do you know about... I can help you. Whatever you need. Start by telling me what you need. Your AI is more than a cure for your wife. It could also be the salvation for many others. I don't follow. Where we're going, we'll need a different perspective to understand things. Where's that? The Andromeda Galaxy? I have a proposal for you. And Ellen doesn't have much time. Are you interested? That sounds shady. Who was that? The Benefactor? I believe there was more to the Andromeda Initiative than was publicly understood. Private logs are now available in your father's quarters. They may shed further light on the matter. Your progress as Pathfinder has unlocked an additional memory. Let's see it. This memory is from your mother's final day. It was a good fight, soldier. It's not over yet. Alec. No. Alec, we have a few hours. Let's enjoy them. And after that? We'll still have each other, but we want you. I love you, Mom. I love you. Both of you. Live your lives. Do great things. I see so much potential in you. And remember, fall in love at least once. I'll let you guys talk. Say it, Alec. Say it. Then I will. Goodbye. Watch out for the kids. Be there for them. I will. Mourn me, Alec, but don't let this destroy you. What did you used to say when you were in N7? 
When your back's against the wall, if you can't run from it, use it. Remember that. Be strong. Never as strong as you. I love you, Ellen. I... I didn't expect that. Death remains an elusive concept for me. A finite end in a cosmos, otherwise filled with infinite possibilities. Everything ends. Life, stars, galaxies. They all die eventually. It's just how things work. Yet it appears this belief serves as a form of motivation for many organic life forms. It's why you exist. Dad hoped you could save her. And I failed. I never understood. With all your capabilities, Sam, why did she die? My ability to enhance organic physiology has limitations. Your mother's disease was systemic. It also seems that life is more than just biology. It is the will to continue living. I believe your mother accepted her fate, and likewise, her body surrendered. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. Well, I need to go hug some puppies. Because that shit's depressing. Your father's personal logs. I had a strange meeting yesterday. I thought it would be with Jen Garson who founded the initiative. But it wasn't. I guess Jen's the visionary, the one who gets everyone excited about the project and drums up publicity. But then this benefactor apparently provides resources and money. And I mean a lot of money. It's a little unusual. But everything about this project is. Interesting. I wonder if Director Tan knows anything about this. Worth talking to him. I accepted the initiative's offer. They're calling me a Pathfinder. <laughs> There's no other option left. Same will never happen without their help. Our savings are gone, and no one will return my calls. I am a pariah. There's something strange going on with this benefactor. But... Ellen's getting worse. I can't fail her. Let's speak with Director Tan then. you've crossed paths with Sloan Kelly and the Exiles. A thorn in our side, if ever there was one. I don't think anyone came all the way to Andromeda to live like that. The Nexus was part of this, too. It's about the future, Ryder. What sort of civilization will we form in Helios? One driven to extremes of anarchy, or one dedicated to order and justice? I choose the latter. Sloan Kelly and her mutineers chose otherwise. Did you have some other business? I'm curious. What do you know about the people who backed the initiative? What everyone knows. Gian Carson was the founder and visionary. Unfortunately, she died on the Nexus during the Scourge disaster. Is there anyone else? I would almost welcome them. A voice to silence the rabble. Then Cash might listen. But no, we're alone. Why do you ask? I have information that suggests Garson wasn't the only one. What sort of information? It's complicated, but there was a silent partner. A benefactor. Even if that were true, we've been here 14 months with no sign of them. This partner is either a phantom, missing, or dead. 
No, Gian Carson was the beacon. A sad end to someone of such stature. Dying alone. Oh? It was chaos. By the time they found her, she was already dead. Succumbed to her injuries. Was there a follow-up investigation? I wasn't even out of stasis. But knowing the violence of the Scourge disaster, death was everywhere. If you're suggesting something else happened, Ryder, I'd rather you didn't. Let's not add to the confusion. Thank you for your time. Ryder, if you wish to pursue this further, accessing Nexus security records may reveal more information. Yeah, yeah, I kind of want to do that. Okay, what are we looking for, Sam? Any information relating to Gene Carson's death. The only hard fact is that her body was found in one of the apartments. Then connecting her death to the Scourge disaster was mere speculation. Yeah, they just wanted this to go away. I think we need to check out that apartment. Environmental data will allow us to reconstruct the scene. Damn right. I wonder if each apartment's gonna be a different quest. This is where Jean Garson's body was discovered. What are we looking for? If you scan the room, environmental data may allow for scene recreation. There. This was no accident. She was murdered. As this incident occurred over a year ago, her killer is likely far away by now. Yeah. But, wait. This whole area was shuttered back then didn't open until the Hyperion arrived. So what was Garson even doing here? Perhaps a further scan of the room is in order. A hidden door. What do we have here? Oh, hello. Garson, I don't have much time. I've been hiding in the sealed off sections of the Nexus since we got here. Someone's trying to kill me, and now I can hear them down in the hydroponics area. They're coming. I've embedded what I know in my VI in the cultural center. This log has the code, and whatever happens... Oh god, they're outside the door. Wow, this is some serious shit. Yes, deeply troubling. I have the code she mentioned for the VI kiosk. This is some deep ass shit. This is some conspiracy level crap going on here. If it, as if I didn't have enough problems. Welcome back. Hello there, neighbor. I'm Gian Garson, the founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I thought you might like to hear more about our plans. Sam, can we hear that message Garson talked about? Unlocking it now. Rerouting to our private channel. For years, there was a silent partner involved with the initiative. The truth is, I was running out of money. Then a benefactor stepped in. I didn't ask questions. I never met them face to face. That was a mistake. I lied to everyone. Something big spooked them in the Milky Way, and now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for the good, but I have my doubts. And now I think they're going to remove me. Alec Ryder and I had a code word for this. Fulcrum. He may have learned more. 
What did that mean? Something big in the Milky Way. Perhaps your father's locked memories hold the answer. He might have known more. Yeah. Guess I'll have to keep unlocking them to find out for sure. Yeah. Guess so. Well, that's depressing. <laughs>